Uh, wine with a wig. <laughs> the wine's almost finished. Oh, my goodness, I didn't like it anyway. You didn't? No. It's cheap. <laughs> well, so is the room. They saw you. They thought it would be safer. I got really worried when I saw you and Victor on television. You know, my life won't be worth two cents after the trial. What are you going to do? I've got to believe it's going to be... Well, okay, it's all going to work out. You and me and Robin will be safe and sound somewhere else. Playing games all bloody day. I want some straight answers. Will you just take it easy? That's all you know how to say. Will you just take it easy? I told you it's a routine check. That's all. Yeah, why not? Why not last month? Well, Duke, you are not the only person in the witness protection program. I do have a schedule to follow. What schedule? I'm not on anybody's list. Nobody knows I'm alive. You came here for a reason. It wasn't to check up on my health. Believe it or not, we are concerned. Look, I've got to be going, so... Uh... Looks like everything's under control here. Oh, everything is great here. I'm having a wonderful time. I'll see you later, Duke. When? On your next routine visit? Victor Jerome's out of the way. That may no longer be a problem, so uh, wait here 48 hours, and if the dogs don't come out, they've been called off. The master's dead. Oh. And anyway, come on in. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, dear, I'm certainly feeling guilty now. Anna, we stayed in this beautiful, beautiful suite overlooking the park, and you had to stay in this... I think dump is the word you're looking for, honey. Dump, <laughs> Yeah. Well, it is a little shabby, I think. Mm. Shabby would be an improvement, Anna. You know, when Duke and I were here, um, there was a power outage. We got candles. It was quite romantic, actually. Oh, we really hated leaving you here alone last night. You know that. No, I needed to be here on my end. It was fine. Should it help? Yeah, it did help. It did. Duke and I, we spent some very happy times here. And... It just kind of brought it all back, and I, I feel really good, very peaceful. Well, why spoil all this peacefulness by going to Victor's funeral, then? Oh, well, that's part of it, you see. It's the whole thing. It's me, and it's the Duke, and it's just the end of a chapter, you know? What are you looking for? What? Uh, nothing. Maybe I should say, who are you looking for? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, something's going on. Carver didn't come up here for a social visit. There's nothing going on. Don't give me that. You've been moving me about for weeks. Now, if I were really safe, you wouldn't have to do that. Either you tell me what's happening or else I'm going to walk out that door. You can't do that. Watch me. Hey, look, all I can say is just to be patient. To be ready to move. Move where and why? Now, will you trust me on this, okay, Duke? Just hold on. In a few hours, you could get some very good news. We'll whip up some breakfast for you. Oh, I'd like it. I'll do the whipping. Maybe you'd want to. You don't like my breakfast? Oh, no. You know, over the last year or so, you have grown into a rather incredible young lady. You know? Thank you. You've had to put up with a whole lot more than a person your age is generally used to dealing with. But you've handled it pretty well. And that's why I figured that you'd be grown up enough to understand what I'm going to tell you. What is it? 
Remember the other night when uh, your mother and I uh, interrupted you and Rowdy by the, the water's edge and told you to uh, go back to the house? Yeah. There was a reason for that. We... Uh, we found Victor Jerome's body floating by the shoreline there. That was the body you thought was part of a decoration, so to speak. I'm supposed to say sorry, but I guess can't. Yeah. Caused you and your mother a lot of grief. But you won't be able to do that again. Can you never said something about the digital? Mm hmm? He said that everything would turn out happy in the end. Hmm. Guess he was right. Yeah, but he was sort of right and sort of wrong. How'd you figure that? Well, first of all, Richard Jerome's dead. Mm hmm But that doesn't break deep back, does it? I am for your loss. Thank you. Is everything ready? Yes, of course. I hope you'll approve of the arrangements. I'm sure I will. I'd like to, uh... I'd like him to wear this. Whatever you wish, Mr. Drew. He, uh... He gave it to me when I graduated college. Uh, along with a ring. It was, that was the first one in the family to go to college. Proud of me that day, huh, Bart? People are arriving, Mr. Jerome. Could I just be alone with you for a few minutes? Yes, of course. I'm sorry, the viewing has not begun yet. Thanks. Anna? Hi, Julian. Hi. <sighs> Tiffany? Sean? Julian? Our condolences. Thank you. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. Uh, how's, uh, Bobbin? She's fine. She's, she's junior high now. Is she? Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry to have heard about Duke. Thank you. He was a good man. Yes. I really, I, I don't know what to say. I, I really didn't expect to see you here. Your father changed my life, really, didn't he? I needed to come, okay? Mm-hmm. That's what you need to do. I understand. Good. Mind? Dangerous now, do you? 